Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have an important review to share with you. I recently tested the A9 Mini Camera 2023 version with the V720 application, and unfortunately, my experience was not as positive as I had hoped. I want to provide an honest assessment of my experience and explain why I don't recommend this camera. Let's jump right in. Let's open up the package and see what's included. So, we have the A9 mini camera itself, a USB cable for charging and data transfer, a rotating base to adjust the camera's angle, and of course, the user manual to help us get started. Right off the bat, the A9 mini camera feels compact and lightweight, perfect for versatile use. The rotating base is a great addition, allowing for easy positioning and capturing different angles. Now let's connect the camera to the application, download, and install the V120 app from the App Store on your smartphone. Open the V720 app and tap Add Device to begin the setup process. Grant the app access to your device's location when prompted. Turn on the Bluetooth and tap Add Device. Turn on the camera by pressing the power button. Long, press the mode button on the camera to perform a reset. Tap next to proceed with the setup. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list displayed in the app. Enter your Wi-Fi network password when prompted. Tap next to continue after entering the correct password. The app will search for the camera and list it. Give a name to the camera. And tap to the next. The camera now is online. Now, let's talk about the most important aspect, the camera's performance. I have to be honest and say that I found it to be lacking in several areas. The image quality was subpar with blurry details and poor color reproduction and a constrained field of view. The low light performance was particularly disappointing, resulting in grainy and noisy footage. Additionally, I experienced issues with autofocus and overall stability, making it difficult to capture steady shots. Based on my extensive experience testing multiple versions of the A9 mini camera, I must honestly say that the 2023 version falls far short of expectations. Its video quality is subpar, and the overall performance is disappointing. Given these issues, I strongly discourage purchasing the A9 mini camera in 2023. It fails to meet the standards I would expect from a reliable and high-quality camera. Thank you for joining me for this review. It's important to share our experiences to help others make informed decisions. Remember, different individuals may have different preferences and expectations. So I encourage you to do further research and consider multiple opinions before making a purchase if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments below. See you next time.